well good morning dear so welcome to my lecture so you have started watching videos on mathematical foundation on robotics and uh, we are learning how to model humanoid robot um, specifically we are uh, today we learn how to model humanoid robot uh, using uh, numerical methods and uh, <coughs> uh, here we would like to just recap you see, you have learned three powerful um, uh, numerical methods. One is Newton Dapson uh, algorithm. Okay, so this is the um, delta theta. Another is Newton's algorithm, which you can use, uh, um, and this will guarantee that um, Hessian matrix uh, negative semi-definite will guarantee that the solution you are getting. Uh, they are um, optimal solution that is uh, you are able to maximize the function uh, is a calculus method you know uh, you are able to maximize uh, your function um, with those values which you are getting the theta values right and this is a control what we have eta okay everywhere we are keeping eta as a control parameter you can call it hyper parameter huh? uh, so that the increment will be uh, in your control and um, near um, um, derivative zero value and then when the Hessian matrix will be singular that means when the manipulator will be in singular configuration so you can avoid those situation okay um, using uh, this control parameter another very interesting and very um, uh, important algorithm which you are learn which you have learned is second algorithm right here you do not require to calculate any gradient so computationally definitely it will be much more uh, efficient uh, compared to these two but <laughs> there is no free lunch here you need uh, two initial gaze right and you know newton dapson algorithm newton's algorithm all they will converge if your initial gaze is near uh, to the value which you, uh, to the roots which you are uh, trying to figure out Okay, and second algorithm you require two, and the, those guesses have to be um, uh, done very um, seriously, right? And uh, here you need two guesses, okay, initial guess, but nevertheless, you know, the benefit you see only those at those guess point you are calculating the functional value, okay, and function is given to you, that's it, and you are able to calculate delta theta, okay, so. These three algorithm we will now implement uh, one by one with our two degrees of freedom uh, model. Uh, but philosophically, this two degrees of freedom robot model or manipulator, you can call it, this is corresponding to um, cobot or humanoid robot. Okay, so this two degrees of freedom robot we also used for industrial robot. Here, uh, the solution technique is completely different. Okay. So now let us apply these three algorithm one by one. First, Newton Dapson method. And you see, even the simplest tooling manipulator will give birth to multiple multivariate functions. Okay. So minutely, you will have to understand each and every step. Okay. Uh, step one. So what is our problem? Problem is actually here I have, uh, you know, um, two degrees of freedom robot manipulator having length L1, L2, okay, and <clears throat> we are solving inverse kinematic problem. So, for given, what is given? XY, XY value in the Cartesian space is given. And what you require to do? You require to calculate theta 1 and theta 2. That means your program will calculate theta 1 and theta 2, which is the inverse kinematic solution, right? So, for doing so, you first required um, to establish functions and variables, right? So, in a vector form, we are writing the function um, theta 1, theta 2, okay? So, this is the dimension and I have, this is the function, okay? The function has to be made 0 and again, we are just um, forward kinematics model we are using, x equals to L1 cos theta 1 plus L2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2. That means I am calling it a function of theta 1 and theta 2. 
uh, equals to L1 cos theta 1 plus L2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 minus x. I am now putting, right? I am taking it in this direction with minus sign because I need to um, uh, develop my function f1 equal to 0. Function uh, is of value theta 1 and theta 2. So, this function, you know, is a function of theta 1 and theta 2, okay? Similarly, this is another function of theta 1 and theta 2, okay? And what is the nature of the function? This is the nature of the function, huh? uh, you see? L1 sin theta 1, hmm? you are with me, okay? This is x, okay? very simple. Huh? And when we are talking about y, this is y, you are just projecting on y direction and getting this, this is simple high school math, right? <coughs> so L1 sin theta 1 plus L2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2. So you have a function f2 now, okay? Minus y, again, we are taking y here making minus because I need to make theta 1, theta 2 all equals to 0 because I am trying to figure out the roots, right, of that function f1, f2 equal to 0. So this is step 1, you will have to follow whether it is 2-link manipulator, 3-link manipulator, 6-link manipulator, 7-link manipulator, okay, human error robot, okay. So step 2 now, I will have to make an initial guess to the solution, okay. So this is my initial guess for Newton adaption and Newton method. And if you are talking of uh, using second method, then you will have to make two initial guesses. Okay, so these are the two initial guesses we will have to make for second algorithm. So in this uh, step two, we will have to do this. In step three, I will uh, tell you here uh, Newton Raphson's um, algorithm and Newton's algorithm, and you need to calculate first order derivative of the function. Uh, f, which is um, uh, uh, actually a multiple function, right, is a vector form, f, f theta actually. Uh, we can just more <laughs> grammatically correct this is actually. Uh, so, this is Jacobian of the manipulator and we can call the Jacobian of the manipulator j, right. And what will be that Jacobian? I can calculate from here, right. So, you know how to calculate Jacobian, right? So, oh, Jacobian is actually partial differentiation of the function f1 with respect to theta 1. So, first row is partial differentiation of the function with respect to theta 1, once with respect to theta 2. Then, second row, partial differentiation of the function f2 with respect to the uh, variables theta 1 and with respect to variable theta 2. That's it. And it's so simple, right? From here, you can calculate each and every one. I have told you in my earlier lecture, but here you can again do the same thing, okay? Partially differentiate this, this function with respect to theta 1, with respect to theta 2, and you will end up in getting 2 cross 2 matrix, whose first row is minus L1 sin theta 1 minus L2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2. This is the first element, first row, first column, and first row, second column is minus L2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2. And the second row is L1 cos theta 1 plus L2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 and L2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2. If I make any mistake, now you are able to catch all of it from here, okay? You do it with a notebook. So, this becomes 2 cross 2 matrix. So, this is a Jacobian matrix. Wonderful. Now, you will have to calculate um, the um, partial, uh, second order partial derivative, okay? If you want to... Um, and you will have to do that uh, if you uh, use uh, Newton's algorithm if you want to implement, okay. So, so this is uh, second order partial uh, differentiation you will have to do. That is called Hessian tensor of the manipulator, okay. And how to calculate it? First, you will have to calculate Hessian matrix for function, first function, function 1. So, since there are two variables, so here it will be 2 cross 2 square matrix, symmet uh, symmetric matrix, okay. You see, diagonal, whatever is here, is, has to be symmetric and we will check it. You see, symmetric, this and this, huh? same. So, that means correctly you have calculated. So, 
what you have again you will have to differentiate with respect to theta 1 and then with respect to theta 2. So from getting here I would suggest that uh, take a notebook or from here it's very easy you can calculate uh, the um, Hessian matrix for function 1 okay which is a 2 plus 2 matrix. Similarly for function 2 you will have to calculate the Hessian matrix okay uh, following um, you see similar kind of um, things theta 2 theta 1 huh? then f2 then uh, delta theta 2 square uh, uh, like that okay so this is our first row and then second row will be D to F2 and then so there is no place here but uh, it's very simple now we have done in, in the earlier lecture so you can uh, if you want you can otherwise directly uh, from this function okay you first uh, make a first derivative you have already done this okay and you get the Hessian matrix then um, you see you will have to calculate the Hessian tensor dot 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 Hessian tensor what is it actually this is a uh, vector of matrix right so what is H F1 vector this is nothing but a 2 cross 2 matrix okay so another vector is a 2 cross 2 matrix fine so you have all the raw materials hmm? you have um, Hessian matrix you have um, you have um, Jacobian matrix and now you are in a position to implement both the Newton Duxton algorithm and Newton algorithm so first for two link uh, manipulator uh, for um, let us uh, now continue step four you need to upgrade the current best case for the solution right and you have to iterate until the delta theta n this one uh, uh, is less than some epsilon hmm. uh, you can use the Euclidean norm and epsilon is a very small you can define that when you are satisfied that is uh, uh, that is when up to what extent you want theta n plus 1 and theta n um, will be equal to 0 to what extent is it you, are you satisfied with 0 0 1 or are you satisfied with 0 1 are you satisfied with 0 0 0 1 so it is user defined right so epsilon equal to epsilon hmm, is a user defined uh, parameter okay so great and then uh, so once the tolerance is uh, given uh, you have selected then you need to also check right all the iteration if your gaze or anything is wrong uh, manipulator is in singular configuration okay uh, so you need to uh, use that hyperparameter huh? this is hyperparameter theta which you have already uh, seen you see this parameter okay you will have to control use this parameter to come out from this situation if the number of steps are too high or the manipulator Jacobian uh, or Hessian matrix become singular okay that's an important issue okay so you'll have to um, figure out this now um, see uh, uh, so it, it, everything is clear right so suppose how the iteration will run you have initial uh, so this is very very important philosophically this second uh, tooling manipulator is our humanoid robot and any robot as I told you when you have just uh, switch on the motors okay so these are um, let us 
one motor uh, motor okay motor can be um, theoretically here or both here with the transmission anyway but that is different issue right so this is called actuation two actuated joint right so once you switch on the robot all the uh, joints with uh, actuator will be switched on and robot will memorize theta 1 theta 2 all values so that's the beauty of our um, numerical method applied in um, human robot you see uh, so you have already a very uh, well define initial gaze and now you see i have told you from say from here go to here so that's my so whenever you switch on this is my initial uh, x y and theta 1 theta 2 all are known okay and i have asked robot or i have commanded robot to go to the some x y value this is i have defined okay so he will again and again you will use forward kinematics uh, uh, function and you will calculate uh, see here 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 so you get uh, you uh, got some point you have initial case and you increment those values and uh, get some uh, some x y huh? get some x y so starting from here get some nearby x y x y x y and uh, how long will continue till you see this is initial in vector form i am writing so x uh, less than some value epsilon tolerance you get right so that's the way you should run the algorithm okay so so this is the assignment which has been given and oh now let us see So one of my students, uh, Mridul, he has submitted the assignment and let us see uh, how um, program I have seen and uh, program is well structured. Uh, we'll work on it because all the other algorithm, it's only Newton Duction algorithm which has been implemented. So, so he has imported, uh, I have told only NumPy you can use, so NumPy library has been imported and then uh, this is uh, position x y so you are um, uh, actually uh, you require to give this and th uh, these are the notations position is x y um, okay it should be x y actually and then theta 1 theta 2 up to theta n so in general form he has uh, written so there is a little part this way x y then um, define a class for inverse kinematic solver and then within the class you have functions right so these are initial uh, values uh, this is parameter eta is then tolerance how, how much tolerance you'll give how much degrees of freedom because i told that uh, two three four five six whatever degrees of freedom i will give the same program should work okay so this function is taking care of that so here is uh, forward kinematics function okay so he has defined the forward kinematics function that is very important because correctly has to be uh, written and we will use that uh, function again and again okay and then we are calculating to calculate uh, the increment you need to uh, calculate jacobian so this function is actually calculating the jacobian uh, for the manipulator then uh, we, you are solving inverse kinematics using, using Newton Duction method. Huh? So this is Newton Duction method which you have implemented, right? And then I told that um, you'll have to check that whether it is uh, working or not, uh, because the whole idea of using two linked robot manipulator is to go uh, inside detail uh, what is happening. Because when we will uh, talk about Baxter robot. Uh, which has sufficiently large number of degrees of freedom this will be too complicated so let us just see everything here so you will have to also compare that what you have done numerical uh, solution what you are getting analytical solution um, in terms of 8 and 2 function you should get the same values right uh, in fact the 8 and 2 function will give you more 
possible solutions, right? So that's why uh, this is actually for checking uh, and because solver, this is good uh, practice. So, and then once you have done this, so you are able to um, get uh, output from Newton adaption method, okay? And you are able to get in terms of it and two function, you are returning uh, the um, uh, theta values corresponding to x, y, right? So, when uh, you, here you are selecting some values, eta, and then tolerance you are giving, that is uh, final uh, destination and where is the current destination, if they matches up to this, you will assume that uh, the problem has been solved, okay? And you have reached to the destination, okay? And then also there is one thing, everybody should do that. Uh, you cannot whimsically uh, give x, y. Right, it should be within the reachable workspace of the robot. Okay, so you need to calculate the reachable workspace, which is very easy for tooling manipulator, but other uh, manipulators will have to also similar mat in matrix formula to calculate this parameter so that XY will be checked whether it is in the working uh, within reachable workspace or not. If then only uh, uh, it go it should go to the iteration, and then you see. Um, the you have got the uh, Newton adaption method, some theta values. Okay, uh, you see this is theta one, this is theta two, and analytical method in terms of eight and two function solving inverse kinematics with Newton adaption method is giving you this. Analytical method is giving you this. You see, these two values are very close. But as I told you that in due transaction method only you will get one solution that is good enough for our uh, humanoid robot covert uh, purpose. This is practically extremely useful. We do not need uh, multiple solution. Uh, you will not get multiple solution in numerical um, method. But that is that is fine. Okay, that is fine with us because. So you can just uh, see if I, um, you can, you can also see, you can check uh, your uh, different uh, length of the uh, robot, okay, Manip uh, manipulator, then eta value, you can give different eta values, the control parameter, okay, and then you can hmm, test, okay. Again, you got uh, some solution, you see. This is theta 1, theta 2. Let me see, analytical method, do the heaviest. Yes. You see this, this theta 1, or this is theta 2. So, this set is actually, this is the set which uh, matching. So, in due conduction method, you are getting um, uh, good solution, right? So, this is the way our algorithm will work, okay? And now, since you have uh, enough um, knowledge and enough material, now um, extend the same program, similar kind of program you write, and extend it to Newton's method and second method, okay? These two algorithm on the same tooling robot manipulator, you have to implement. With this, uh, this is, um, um, that's it for today and in the next class I will discuss that how to use your um, whatever you know already uh, Newton adaption, Newton's algorithm, second algorithm, how to use them for so, to, for redundant robot. So very slowly but Steadily, we are approaching towards a real uh, multiple multivariate uh, function uh, real robot having redundancy. So that will be in the next class. Very, very interesting. Mm. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.